Jason King and Jay Fowler. Congratulations, you went viral. Hey, this is the number one contender to the Zawa Live Championship. Bobby Houston here. And I just got a comment. Hey, congratulations, guys. I'm super happy for you. But let's get down to brass tacks, man. What'd you guys just get famous for? Because the two of you talked a fan into coming in the ring and you choked him out? Let me remind you that while you're out here living in famous internet land, I'm out here in the real world. And this Saturday night, Fowler, it ain't gonna be some fan running in. It ain't gonna be some fan standing across the ring from you. It's gonna be me, Bobby Houston. And yourself, Fowler, Jackson King, Mike Hartenbauer, you guys are coming to the house that Houston built. And that's right, Fowler, I invite you to bring your friends because there ain't gonna be no fans running in the ring. It's gonna be me. And when I need backup, oh, I'm gonna have the best backup in town. I'm gonna have the owner of the building, the owner of Parties on Pope, Diamond Dave, he's gonna be in my corner Saturday night. So Hartenbauer, Jackson King, you guys stick your nose in the championship match. Better watch out for Diamond Dave. And Fowler, like I said, you're coming to the house that Houston built, and I'm leaving Saturday night. Zawa Live Champion. You know, I remember hearing back in the day about Bobby Houston, about how he was good and how he was, he was the man in Illinois. Well, I got news for you, pal. I'm the man now. Everywhere I go, I'm the guy. I'm the best. I'm all steel. I'm the guy that went toe to toe with Chavo Guerrero, Alex Shelley, John Morrison, Mike Bennett, the list goes on and on. And I'm glad that you've seen my, my viral video of me choking out some drunk idiot fan for trying to step into my ring. That ring is mine, it belongs to me. That house belongs to me. You say you built that house? Well, now it's mine. And while your, uh, your little comeback story, it's been real cute, it's been fun. But it all comes crashing to an end this Saturday. When I choke you, be out. You know, I can't even lie. Life is pretty good. Life is pretty damn good right now. I'm getting to live these dreams, playing drums on cruises. Getting to take this championship all over the world. It's crazy, man. If younger me saw this, he'd be fanboying all over the place. But just as I'm living these dreams, there's always somebody working hard to try to take this championship away from me. And this Saturday won't be any different because I'm facing the former champion, 12 games, this Saturday, April 13th. Now, I'm not even going to lie. I'm pretty excited about this match. I'm pretty pumped, actually. For the past six months, there have been circumstances that caused this match not to happen. And I got a lot of respect for 12 Gays, like I said. Some people are even saying that 12 Gays versus Edward Benson, that's the match that this title was made specifically for. We were made for this 12 Gays, but I need to beat you. I know you don't want to hear that, but I need to beat you. Not only do I need to beat you to solidify that I'm one of the best parents I will lie, but I need to beat you to prove that I'm not just a stand-in champion. I'm here to run this thing. So I need to beat you 12 gauge. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're gonna be walking out of Nelson the same way you're walking in. And that's empty-handed. So this Saturday, April 13th, it's all alive, going back down. 12 gauge, you better come fully loaded. But even if you do, it's still not gonna be enough to take me down. Cause I'm coming this Saturday to prove that I am one of the best friends I will lie. And I am the rock star of professional wrestling. I'll see you soon, sir. Back in August, I suffered an injury that took me out of action for a very long time. And I was forced to vacate the Fireweight Championship. But this Saturday, I get the opportunity to take back what I never lost when I go one-on-one -on -one with Everett Venom. 
Now, Everett, I won't lie. You have been dominating the Fireweight Championship division. But that's only because I've been gone. But I'm back now. And I'm ready to take back what's truly mine. So at Parties on Pope in Nelson, Illinois, Everett, you may have had a good run, but good things come to an end. And that title's coming back to me. on Saturday. Zawa Live, Chiron and a mystery partner against Matt Hatter and his new friend Jake. Now I've had a few people come up and ask me, they've been telling me, Kai, you haven't had much to say going into this match. You know what, you're 100% right, I don't have much to say. Why is that? Because I've made my mission incredibly clear. And that is to embarrass Matt Hatter. What did I do? I went out there, I put him over the top rope. What did I do? I went out there, I chopped him down methodically, and I put his shoulders to the mat. I have executed on all fronts with this mission. I don't have much to say. You're 100% right. I don't have much to prove here. I'm not the one who has something to prove. That's you, Hatter. Now, if you want to continue this pattern of embarrassment, you want to bring your friend in here because you couldn't get the job done on your own, you go right ahead. But this is a message to you, Jay, just as much as it's a message to Hatter. I wouldn't tag in on Saturday. I wouldn't tag in on Saturday because I will bust your lip in the same way I'm gonna bust hats. That's just a warning to you. But to the both of you, I'm ready for you. I don't care who comes out. I could care less who comes out and tries to tag in as my partner. I'm the psychedelic enforcer. I am the outlier. I got this. I'll see you on Saturday. Cody Kaiser, you sold my grandpappy's box truck. We've been using that for years to wrestle up gators, man. Now I gotta build this for our show? You better be ready. I'm coming to Nelson with a problem. Well, I have a deal for all of you. Now, today I'm out here in the bayou making some deals. We always gotta be on the lookout out here because you never know what you'll come across. Look, there's something now. Follow me, cameraman, follow me. Oh yeah, look at there, look at that. You getting this camera guy? Oh yeah, this right here, it's a bill in the bayou. That's right, it's a wild bayou bill. And folks at home, we all know what I do to bayou bills, don't we? And you see, bayou bill, the same thing's gonna happen to you on Saturday, April 13th in Nelson, Illinois. And before I hear any more of that, oh my grandbaby trailer, blah, blah, blah. Realize, I care way more about what I sold. Stuffy is in the ring! Close line by Stuffy! Twice as nice! Give this man a broom because he is cleaning house! Wrecking ball! Good God! Regal's 
Stone just ricocheted off the post. Good God Almighty. DTM. DTM is up. We have seen it before. This could be it. Now, wait a minute. Haven. Holy freak on the outside here. Well, what did we say before? They don't have to win to retain the titles. The referee up to six here. Seven. Nobody's taking these from us. 